I became insane, with long intervals of horrible sanity. All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. We loved with a love that was more than love. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. I have great faith in fools, self-confidence my friends will call it. I was never really insane except upon occasions when my heart was touched. There is no exquisite beauty without some strangeness in the proportion. Believe nothing you hear, and only one half that you see. From childhood's hour I have not been. As others were, I have not seen. As others saw, I could not awaken. My heart to joy at the same tone. And all I loved, I loved alone. Sleep, those little slices of death, how I loathe them. Years of love have been forgot, in the hatred of a minute. Never to suffer would never to have been blessed. Words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. All religion, my friend, is simply evolved out of fraud, fear, greed, imagination, and poetry. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. I wish I could write as mysterious as a cat. Deep in earth my love is lying, and I must weep alone. And so being young and dipped in folly I fell in love with melancholy. It is by no means an irrational fancy that, in a future existence, we shall look upon what we think our present existence. As a dream, I felt that I breathed an atmosphere of sorrow, beauty of whatever kind, in its supreme development, invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. And all I loved, I loved alone. I have no faith in human perfectibility. I think that human exertion will have no appreciable effect upon humanity. Man is now only more active, not more happy, nor more wise, than he was 6,000 years ago. Invisible things are the only realities. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. The true genius shudders at incompleteness, imperfection, and usually prefers silence to saying the something which is not everything that should be said. The death of a beautiful woman is, unquestionably, the most poetical topic in the world. I remained too much inside my head and ended up losing my mind. Science has not yet taught us if Madness is or is not the sublimity of the intelligence. With me poetry has not been a purpose, but a passion. There are some secrets which do not permit themselves to be told. I would define, in brief, the poetry of words as the rhythmical creation of beauty. I dread the events of the future not in themselves, but in their results. That which you mistake for madness is but an over-cuteness of the senses. Poetry is the rhythmical creation of beauty in words. It is a happiness to wonder, it is a happiness to dream. To elevate the soul, poetry is necessary. 
The boundaries which divide life from death are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where the one ends, and where the other begins? Now this is the point. You fancy me a mad. Madmen know nothing. But you should have seen me. You should have seen how wisely I proceeded. I intend to put up with nothing that I can put down. There are chords in the hearts of the most reckless which cannot be touched without emotion. Even in the grave. All is not lost. Yet mad I am not, and very surely do I not dream. Every moment of the night, forever changing places, and they put out the starlight, with the breath from their pale faces. Convinced myself, I seek not to convince. To die laughing must be the most glorious of all glorious deaths. Men have called me mad, but the question is not yet settled, whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Every poem should remind the reader that they are going to die. A short story must have a single mood and every sentence must build towards it. Stupidity is a talent for misconception. And I fell violently on my face. Leave my loneliness unbroken. And darkness and decay and the red death held illimitable dominion over all. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. Is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream? Art is to look at not to criticize. Experience has shown and a true philosophy will always show that a vast, perhaps the larger, portion of truth arises from the seemingly irrelevant. All that we see and seem is but a dream within a dream. Even with the utterly lost, to whom life and death are equally jests, there are matters of which no jest can be made. The ninety and nine are with dreams, content, but the hope of the world made new is the hundredth man who is grimly bent on making those dreams come true. A man's grammar, like Caesar's wife, should not only be pure, but above suspicion of impurity. Villains. I shrieked. Dissemble no more. I admit the deed. Tear up the planks. Here, here. It is the beating of his hideous heart. Mysteries force a man to think, and so injure his health. When, indeed, men speak of beauty, they mean, precisely, not a quality, as is supposed, but an effect, they refer, in short. Just to that intense and pure elevation of soul, not of intellect, or of heart. The scariest monsters are the ones that lurk within our souls. In criticism, I will be bold, and as sternly, absolutely just with friend and foe. From this purpose nothing shall turn me. You call it hope, that fire of fire, it is but agony of desire. The rain came down upon my head, unsheltered. And the wind rendered me mad and deaf and blind. Lord help my poor soul. That fitful strain of melancholy which will ever be found inseparable from the perfection of the beautiful. The idea of God, infinity, or spirit stands for the possible attempt at an impossible conception. We gave the future to the winds, and slumbered tranquilly in the present, weaving the dull world around us into dreams. 
But as, in ethics, evil is a consequence of good, so, in fact, out of joy is sorrow born. Either the memory of past bliss is the anguish of today, or the agonies which are have their origin in the ecstasies which might have been. I was never kinder to the old man than during the whole week before I killed him. Where the good and the bad and the worst and the best have gone to their eternal rest. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted, nevermore.